Hello guys, good evening. This is your daily dose of me. How are you? Sounding like a 12 year old me. <laughs> so I didn't do my video this morning like I usually do while I'm driving to work. Um, I had a lot of stuff just thinking and going over and um, I just, you know, I had, a, there was a bunch of stuff that just rattled in my brain. So I really didn't focus on I started a video and then I stopped it and I just, just, yeah. So it, it, yes, it was raw. Yes, it was uncut. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, it kind of was all over the place on it. So I just didn't, I didn't do it. I, I, I'm not going to publish it. I didn't, maybe one day it'll be found in my archive somewhere. But I, I kind of want to touch on consistency and integrity. So I've tried to get, be more consistent in my professional life. And be more focused in doing what I need to do to make sure everything is correct. Um, whether it be inventory, whether it be following my sales process, um, whether it be you know customer service issues, whatever the case may be, just being more in tune with my professional life. I've made changes in my physical life, my personal life. I know that's the second P, but it's. There's things that I'm going to have to figure out for myself. Um, but in my professional life, I, I had, after almost seven years of doing inventories, I was only missing two items. Two items were unaccounted for. That's it. That's a lot. <laughs> Considering sometimes it's, when I remember when I first did inventory, it was insane. And where's this? And what's that? And everything was labeled and... I was missing one, two, three, one, two, th three labels I was missing. One thing I didn't even know what the hell it was, but we figured it out because it was just the missing labels. I'm like, I have no idea what the hell that thing is. We know now because obviously it was like, oh, process of elimination. That was what was left. But I've remained, t I've tried to be more consistent and, and just more on top of it and because of it the guy that came to do my inventory today was in and out of my store in under an hour now there's probably over 200 items and people would think 200 items i think anyway it's 200 odd items you have mattresses you have headboards you have foundations not box springs but foundations you have frames you have pillows you have sheets you have protectors you know and all this stuff randomly on the floor when you look at it cool each bed that is on my floor, has a frame, has a foundation, and has a mattress. Some of them might have mattress and adjustable base. Someone might have a frame, a headboard, a footboard, and a, you know what I mean? So it, it's not that difficult if you stay on top of it. But then you have loose items. You know, you have stuff, oh, I need a frame, and I have a frame in the back, and I can sell the frame. But apparently two frames, they just grew legs and walked away. They did have wheels, though, so maybe they rolled away. But anyway... I don't know where they're from, where they went. I, I have no clue. They didn't disappear on my watch. Mind you, I'm not there seven days a week, 24 hours a day, or ship bell to bell shifts seven days a week, though I think they're trying. Hmm. But anyway, no, we got new people, so yay. That's a, that's a blessing. But no, I just look at it and go, it's taken me almost seven years to almost get a perfect inventory where only two things are unaccounted for, two frames. And I'm like, whoa, you know? We do an inventory every week, which apparently by me doing inventory every week still missed the two frames because I didn't realize they were missing. Because um, I don't count frames, I count sheets and pillows every week. And then at the end, of the, it's like I count them up. Somewhere in the, in the shuffle of in between each month, I've lost them somewhere. Did I put that down? No, because I didn't realize I lost them. Now I'm going around with a paint marker and I'm going to write on every single bed frame. One, two, three, four, five. So everything's accounted for. There's a couple labels missing, but n excuses. And I'm and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make excuses, but somehow we were short too, and I don't know how. I really don't. Um, consistency and integrity. From now on, everything coming in and everything going out. Unfortunately, I'm not there when things come in. But every single week when I come back on a Friday morning, I have to do open orders. What's open? Why is it open? Okay, was it delivered? Or was it picked up? Why didn't somebody do this then? When it's picked up, it needs to be built out. You know, and just, I'm learning these things through this business. 
that consistency, if you're not consistent with stuff, it'll mess up everything. So this is kind of teaching me the, the, the ins and outs of business, being consistent and acting with integrity. Do what you're supposed to do. Um, don't pencil whip it. I had a boss who used to say, don't pencil whip it. And a few times I've apparently pencil whipped it to the point of I didn't even realize it. And yeah, I pencil whipped it because I was like, yeah, nothing's missing. It wasn't missing last week. Why would it be missing this week? I'm not there all the time, so apparently it is. Um, so I have to check it probably every Friday, which is why. Yeah, they do it every Friday because then the two days I wasn't there, I got to make sure it was done. But technically, I got to probably check it every single morning if I didn't work the whole day the day before. So, yeah, consistently check that every single day that I don't work. If I don't close, I got to check it the next day just to make sure because everything needs to be accounted for. Inventory needs to be perfect. Be consistent, act with integrity, actually do it. But anywho, I ramble. I'm tired. If you can see it in my eyes, I was sitting here earlier and I fell asleep in my chair. I'm going to go lay down on my couch, which is right there. There's a couch right there. Now I'm gonna go lay down on it. I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna put a little uh, timer on and I'm gonna go lay down. So if this does not get published tonight, it will be published first thing in the morning because I'm going to schedule it to be published if you guys know what i mean anyway i will publish this on youtube at least and then i'll stick it on the facebook page tomorrow but always remember that you are an amazing person and you are an awesome person yes you and you and the one looking at the camera going or looking excuse me looking at my screen going me yeah you you're an amazing person and you're an awesome person and if anyone anywhere at any time, tries to take that away from you, get them out of your life. Okay? Okay? All right. And don't be ashamed to take that step. Yes. Don't be ashamed to take that step. You're doing the right thing. All right? Love you guys. Till the next one. Peace. We'll talk more about that. Don't be ashamed tomorrow.